Moving swiftly on for the second bronze medal contest, Lena Ruvalcaba Alvarez against Razier Ulusham. There is Razier Ulusham wearing blue this time around, 40 years old. Defeated by the number one seed Maldonado in the semis. She's the number five seed herself and is the reigning European champion. Lenia Rualcaba Alvarez. She was the champion in Rio five years ago. So how about that? The European champion against the reigning Paralympic champion. The number five seed against the number two seed. Referee for the bout, Johnny Ramakez from the Netherlands brings him out to the tatami, being led with determination etched all over her face. Razez, Ullakam. Ullakam also, even though she's number five seed, she had to come through a preliminary round, defeating Breskovic then made it through quarters, lost in the semis to Alana Maldonado, whom we will see in the gold medal match in a few minutes' time. Ruval Kaba was caught cold by the other finalists, Ina Kaldani of Georgia, but came barreling back in the repechage. Had to go through a two-fight repechage to get here and she absolutely flew through those two fights. Vukaba, the defending champion, unfortunately not being going for gold on this occasion, but I'm sure a bronze will be very sweet indeed if she can take it, but not if Ugal Champ is anything to say about it. She's trying to get herself in a winning position right from the off. Referee allowing the Niwaza action to continue the groundwork. Kulacham trying to get hold of one of those arms if she can. And as indeed is Ruval Kaba, referee decides that. That's enough. Neither are likely to get a score. So he brings them back for Kimikata and start them off again with just coming up for one minute of the four minute bout. You can hear the coaches in the background. The Kultikin Sevinc is the national coach of Turkey on the right. And then on the left, if you've been watching over the past couple of sessions, you may recognize or recognize the voice definitely of Hilario Avila father of Eduardo Avila, who got a silver medal in one of the previous weight categories. Avila himself, a former judoka, and a very, very vocal coach here in the Rubalcaba Alvarez camp. Cham trying to get in position to do the throw. Rubalcaba having none of that though, standing strong. It's all about trying to get the best grip to be able to break the balance, the Kazushi of the opponent, to set them up. You see that? Now, there we go. Ibon. Kaba. What a fantastic Ibon. The attack came from Udlcham, but it was counted and the balance of her was broken and she was slammed down onto the tatami for the Ibon. So the defending champion disappointed in the earlier rounds, but manages to grit her teeth and bring home a bronze medal. The delight of her coach. A bow to the tatami, and then she's going to 
leap into the arms of Eduardo Avila. A bronze medal. Real disappointment earlier on in the day, and now tears of relief, emotion and joy pouring out. 35-year-old Rio champion. She has a full set now. She got silver in Beijing, gold in Rio, and now she's added bronze at Tokyo 2020. Look how much it means to her. It's not the gold, it's not the silver, it's a bronze, but it still means the world. We can see the sobs, we can hear them. Another medal for Mexico, and here's how it happened. She counters here, down she goes for that Tani Otoshi, slams her down, she knows that it's going to be the one. Look at the power. And look what it means to her. The 2016 Rio gold medalist. And in that final, she defeated a certain Alana Maldonado.